All right, so let's get started throwing. We wanna, um, the first thing we're gonna do is center the clay. We wanna start with a clean bat. And three things I really want you to think about while we start are the position of your body, the speed of your wheel, and the amount of water you are using. So when the speed of your wheel, when you are throwing, when you're centering, you wanna go a little bit faster uh, like this. This is full speed. This is too fast for just about anything. Um, you can go that fast when you're cleaning off the wheel if you really wanna give it a go, but there's really no need to go full pedal down. You're controlling the speed with a pedal that's on the floor. You'll see it when you pick up your wheel. Um, but all the way down, just like a car, if you go too fast, you lose control. If you go too slow, you're not gonna get anywhere. So you want that nice, you don't wanna go too slow unless you're doing some detail work, that's helpful. Um, but you want a nice, uh, strong medium for centering the clay. Now your body, you want your body as close to this wheel as possible. Um, my wheel here, I'll do another video with the wheel on the floor, but this wheel is raised up a little bit. If you feel like that would be more comfortable, try to find some cinder blocks or something sturdy to set your wheel up on. You could do it um, so that it's kind of waist high, or you could do it a little bit higher so that you could stand and brace your back against a wall and throw. I have mine kind of halfway up here. So um, make sure your body is comfortable. And what you want to do is you want to scoot your, um, so let's see if you can get it. You want to scoot your belly right up to the edge of that basin as much as possible so that your thighs can straddle this area and your whole body can be a part of this experience um, so that you can really lean your shoulder lean your body over that work and brace your arms if you are let's, sorry about the dizziness if you are out here away from the wheel your arms don't have any control your very your elbows are up in the air and then the clay is going to be pushing you around you want to to be over that clay and to give it strength and to have your body as condensed over that clay as possible and as braced as possible so that you're pushing the clay to the place where you, you want it to go rather than it pushing you around if it's pushing you around check your body Make sure your legs, your, the inside of your thighs are touching the side of your wheel and your, your stool or whatever you're sitting on is as close as, pos as possible to the wheel. So it's, it's just right in your lap. Push, put you back here. All right. Um, so you have your ball of clay and you want just a little bit of, of wetness, barely any to start. Okay, wetness, just to, to go over wetness too before we start. Your clay is absorbing that water as much as possible. It's going gonna, it's gonna to dry out your hands. You're going to want to use a lot of lotion this semester. Uh, you're going to feel it. It's going to try to pull moisture out of every part of you. And it's also going to soak up any water you add to it. So there's only a limited amount of water that this clay can soak up before it starts to lose its stability um, and become more like yogurt instead of, you know, working with a stru a, solid structure okay so you want to toss your ball down into the middle here and kind of just pat it before you start the wheel at all now you always want to start the wheel before you touch your hands on the clay um, if you are taking time and throwing on the kick wheels outside of uh, the studio at all you want to kick the wheel you want to brace your left foot, kick the wheel with your right foot, and then get your right foot braced again before you touch the clay. Don't try to touch the clay while you're kicking the wheel. That's just a side note for anybody using those kick wheels. Okay, we've got our ball here. We've patted it down. I've got moisture on my hands, not a puddle, no puddles of water, just moisture so that if I don't have enough moisture, the clay is gonna to wanna to stick to my hands. Um, so, and then I have, if you are right-handed, your wheel should be going uh, counterclockwise. Uh, there is a switch by the on-off switch um, on the front side of your wheel. And 
if your wheel head, if it got knocked during moving or something, play around with that switch until it's going counterclockwise. Um, if you're left-handed, it might feel more comfortable for this whole thing to be the opposite um, going clockwise and use the opposite hands that I say. Um, but if you are right-handed, which is how I'm going to talk through this, do what I do what I'm doing. If you're left-handed, just do the opposite. Okay, so to start off, my wheel's going counterclockwise. My ball is uh, solidly in the center. My left hand is gonna be either braced on that basin that is around your wheel head. Wheel head, the basin that collects the water um, is around that wheel head. And then <clears throat> you should be low enough too if you keep your wheel at the same height to brace your arm either in the crook of your then like the little crook of your hip or on your thigh so <clears throat> make sure your left hand is braced and then you're going to use this part of your hand um, for th for this part of it a lot so i'm going to cup it and the the ball of clay is going to come into this space and then i'm going to kind of use my right hand i'm still bracing it i'm still keeping my elbows close to my torso not out like wings <clears throat> they're tucked in and i'm going to use this part of my right hand. And I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is press down and compress the clay to the head of the wheel so that it doesn't move. So I'm gonna do a couple compressions. I'm starting in the middle with my right hand. My left hand is the same the whole time. Starting in the middle with my right hand and kind of sliding down that hill while still kind of pressing towards this middle the whole time. I'm not giving it so much force that I'm gonna press past the middle. <coughs> I'm pressing down and going down the hill of the clay and then kind of using my pinkies in the bottom palm of my hand to kind of just make sure that clay is sealed to the bat. If you pull up right away, the ball is just gonna come right back into your hands and away from the wheel. Okay. <clears throat> Then you'll see me every once in a while clean up this clay. If you don't want to do it with your thumb, you can use a sponge or a rib, and that just really helps to keep a smooth surface for your hand to set on. If you have start to get chunks of clay out here, your hand will start bouncing and it'll really affect the centering of your clay. Now we're gonna to try to pull up a little bit. So this is, we're still centering. We're gonna uh, pull up and compress. It's kind of a wedging, This centering is sort of a wedging on the clay. So we're going to switch to using this part on my, our right hand and left hand. And we're going to pull up in this volcano type shape. I'm not strangling it. I'm not, if I strangle it, guess what's going to happen? That whole thing's going to pop off in your hand or part of it. So I'm gently pulling up to this volcano shape. And then I'm going to switch to this cup of my left hand and going down the from the top to the side of the hill with my right hand kind of aiming for like a mushroom cap and again my elbows are braced i'm using my thighs to keep me tight against the wheel i'm using my abs and my arms and my shoulders not just my fingers or my wrists i'm pressing down starting at the top and then i'm sliding over and pressing with the sides Notice the speed of my wheel, not going too fast, not going too slow. I'm not bringing puddles of water over. You, it might take you a couple pulls to do this over and over again. Um, it's okay if it takes you a while to get this centering down. This centering is essential to making a good pot. So we can't I'm going to take this off center. We can't pretend or hope that this is on center and hope that we'll have a great cup at the end. If you're starting out in a bad spot, you're not going to end in a good spot. Um, so if your clay looks like this, this is off center. And you want to pull up in that volcano shape and then compress back down. And again, you can do that multiple times. But when you have a good centered piece of clay, it should look like it's not 
really moving on the wheel. There's no part of it that's going like this or spinning weird. And you can even lightly lay your hands on it, close your eyes, and if it's smoothly running through your hands, then it's on center. If it's giving you a punch, every time it goes around the clock, it's not on center and you need to try to do those, go through those motions again. So that is the video on centering.